announcement of public business. Item 11. Motion, a question to be put. Mr. Speaker, I rise on the very important matter. And I do so, and I'm not going to Kindly can can hold your. Well, I'll put the question. After the vote, you can ask for recount. I'm guided by what I asked to be done. It has been done. So. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. Speaker, with all due respect, even before the decision is taken, I'm raising the very important matter. And I'm guided by 1091. Which is that no question shall be put unless at least out half. So I ask the table office to verify for me, and I'm satisfied that the numbers are half. Permit versus the Attorney General. And we cannot ask a member. You are a lawyer. Very Speak well. to facts. Very well. Very well. 1092. Yes. I'm uh, sorry, 1093 yes. was struck out. Yes. Not 109. Mr. So Speaker. You're out of Mr. order. Mr. Speaker. Mr. All Speaker. in favor of the motion say aye. <laughs> what is that? What is that? All against say no. To do. The eyes of it, the motion is kept. Uh, uh, Mr. What Speaker. Yeah. Mr. Mr. Speaker, it's important for us to keep the. Uh, Mr. Speaker, it's important for us to keep the sanctity of the House, and most importantly, to ensure that the decision that we are taking is in line with the Constitution and in line with our standing orders. Mr. Speaker, my colleague, the Honourable Member for South Dai, has been standing on his feet for some time. Mr. Speaker, I urge, I urge that, if possible, listen to him so that the issues he's raising, Mr. Speaker, are discussed. So that, Mr. Speaker, if, it's in if indeed we have the numbers to take decision, we take the decision ad adequately. But if we do not have the numbers to take the decision, then we advise ourselves. Mr. Speaker, it's important that you make that determination. Thank you. So, if you have any other matter, I'll listen to him. That's why I defer to you as the leader, available leader. Speaker, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, your instruction to him was for him to sit, for you to put the question, and if he has any other consideration, he will put it before you. Mr. Speaker, after you put the question, he stood up. And I'm only asking that it's only fair you listen to him. So if he has something, he can come back to you again. At, at no point did he sit down. After I asked him to sit down, at no point did he sit down. So it did not appear to me that he was raising a new matter. It was the same matter that he was repeating. A matter on which I was giving a ruling. So please, let's proceed. And uh, motion number 11 for a decision to be taken. And the House has just taken a decision. And I'm raising an issue of legality pursuant to Article 102 of the Constitution. Mr. Speaker, further, I am raising an issue pursuant to Article 104 of the Constitution. And I'm further fortified in the recent decision of the Supreme Court in the matter of Justice Abdullahi versus the Attorney General. Mr. Speaker, if I may refer the House to page 19 of the said judgment. And Mr. Speaker, particularly from uh, paragraph 2 of that page. Mr. Speaker, the Supreme Court had to say this about Kuru. And he says, with your leave, Mr. Speaker, the Supreme Court said the rationale for having two separate quorum provisions is simple. The business of Parliament is diverse. Parliament is, first and foremost, a deliberative chamber, where members meet to deliberate and debate and discuss various matters of public movement. For that deliberative function, when members are not yet called upon to vote to, or to decide or determine a matter, example, approve a proposed contract or a bill, but merely to discuss or debate it, the Constitution per Article 102 sets a lower quorum threshold. That is one third of the full membership of Parliament, not counting any member, that's into bracket, Deputy Speaker, who may be presiding at the time. However, 
where Parliament must exercise its legislative power to decide or determine a matter before it. The Constitution sets a higher quorum threshold re requiring in that instance at least half of all the members of Parliament to be present before a vote can be taken. Mr. Speaker, I submit that at the time that the question was put and the voice vote was carried, we were 98 members in this chamber. 98. 98. Mr. Speaker, pursuant to this, I move that the decision we, we recently took is invalid. It's invalid, Mr. Mr. Speaker, on grounds that there was lack of quorum for decision making. For decision making quorum. There was lack of decision making quorum. Mr. Speaker, I am therefore challenging the, the ruling that the eyes had the vote pursuant to motion number 11. Mr. Mr. Speaker, I am further praying the House for a head count in the matter. I thank you. Mr. Speaker, ever since we had the Supreme Court ruling, we have never had our peace in this house. Mr. Speaker, there will be some underlying factors that is bringing all these issues. This house will need committee of the whole so that we can discuss whatever we think will work for us in this house. Mr. Speaker, committee of the whole. Mr. Speaker, without doubt, if a baby is crying every day, which means that baby needs attention. And if there is something and we are not addressing it, still the problem will continue. So Mr. Speaker, I will urge you suspend the house. We have committee of the whole so that we address issues, then we come and continue.